we're meeting my friend Vincent. He's actually here right now. We're about to talk with him about his journey. Faith, I haven't talked to him in a while, but I know that he is just, come on y'all. I know that he just, he has some stuff to share. He been through some stuff, you know. He act like he's saved. No, I'm just so this is recording. This is Vincent. What's good? It's your boy Vince. Y'all already know what time it is. I'm gonna look you with Jay. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. Of course. Y'all, funny story. Well, we can tell that. I really want to get to know what's been going on in your life. Still doing my things. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. We gonna go a lot deeper. We gonna go a lot deeper. That was just touching the surface. Oh, you about to go on some stairs. Oh, thank you. Thank you. hear from people about their journey because ain't nobody perfect ain't nobody you know been somewhere and we can say we got it all together like Christians want to put on this front that we have it all together are we good and you know this and that but this is a like you have to be all the way committed to be in this process of faith to be in this process of following God and if not you will go through trials or you will go through temptation this is Oh, Pete Vince's face. He didn't know what we were talking about yet, but he kind of caught on. He kind of caught on. Y'all think he look ready? I don't know. I don't know. We gonna say. Y'all know my struggle with that too. So I'm gonna talk to Vince about maybe some things that he's been going through. Maybe even some stuff you've been going through. I want you to join the conversation and I want you to be a part of it because I really feel like what God is gonna say during this time together is gonna set some people free. It's gonna expose some stuff. And it's really just gonna be a real moment with you and God. So what has been like your most defeated experience that you had that you just felt like, why am I here? Um, of course business. That's that's been one. Uh, another one is me personally, uh, spiritually and mentally, physically, um, guiding my mind, guiding my eyes. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Uh, Preach, come on, tell them. You know, sometimes, hey, my mind go there. Yeah. And my body sometimes follows. And that's not always good. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes it's not it's not things of God either when it does. It's definitely not things of God. So, um, that said, it's, 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 it's Atlanta, so it's everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gay, so, you know, I see it. I like women. And, um, you know, that's something that I always see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, just got to. Be focused. What's been like your biggest sh struggle in that with kind of like overcoming it? Sorry. Um, well, you know, of course I'm in a relationship now. Prior to that. Yeah, prior to the relationship. Yeah, prior to the relationship would be not to talk to a woman because she has this going on, she got that showing, this and that in the floor. And if I do talk to her, talk to her with love, talk to her with care, talk to her with kindness other than, you know, me physically trying to get something out of it. You know, that was that was something that I always struggled with. And for the longest, I didn't even see it as a struggle. I seen me as that guy. You know what I'm saying? I am that guy to get that. You know, but uh, now... Someone take us in the mind. Now, you know, it's, 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 it's still... That guy still comes up. Yeah. But at times, I have to put that guy in check. Like, if I walk through Lennox right now, I got to know that and say, hey, don't do that. Keep walking. Don't look back. Just keep going. You know what I'm saying? Yes, she's smiling at you. Smile back. Say hey. Keep it moving. A lot of people watching and they're like, yo, that's good for me. But for me, you know, if I see something I like, I just got to go and get it. If so I when you, okay. So let's let's put it like this. When you go and get it, right? When you go and get it. So you go and get a number. Y'all talk. Y'all text. Whatever. Whatever. Go out. Eat. Whatever. She comes to the crib. You know you should, but you do it anyway. You get what I'm saying? Now, I say the afterthought of all of that is me now being in the shower, repenting, asking God for forgiveness. Because I know I shouldn't have did that. I know I'm not married, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I've committed this act of fornication, and it's like, and sometimes it, it, it becomes a repetitive thing. Because the first time I feel like I needed that. You know, you feel like you needed that. You're like, I feel like I needed that. And then the second time, it's more like, okay, I should chill out. And the third time, you just kind of get into this repetitive thing where you haven't asked God for forgiveness, where you haven't 
came to God and said, Lord, help me with this. You actually enjoy the sin itself. You know, so now you're enjoying the sin. You're enjoying what it brings. But then you also have to understand that uh, all roads of all, uh, sin leads to roads of death. You get what I'm saying? Vince is being so real and I just pray that it is helping and encouraging you on your journey. But check it. We are continuing the series this week and next week. So you got to subscribe and stay tuned. I'm talking about a purpose, fulfilling assignment and calling on your life that you don't even know about yet. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You don't even know who you've been called to be yet. And God wants to show it to you. God wants you to discover who you are. And the things that you will see will blow your mind. I'm inviting you to an amazing institute that will train you to discover the gifts, the talents, the skills, the abilities that God has placed inside of you that no one even knows about but God. Let's find it together because this world needs who you were created to be. Your time has come to be an influencer, to be on display for what God has placed inside of you. Your time is here. It doesn't matter what kind of relationship you have with God because all that's about to change. You have things inside of you that this world needs and will discover soon because you are about to become of the brightest and boldest group of individuals who are ready to be on fire and on display on platforms and in the industry of entertainment, media, and entrepreneurship endeavors for God. This Wednesday, something new is coming and you are going to be a part of it. Stay tuned. Because I don't know about you, but I need someone to help me get to my fullest potential. I need someone that's been where I'm going, that can encourage me when I'm down, that can remind me about the promises of God that he's made to me when I don't want to remember or when the enemy's on my back too much. I need a program like the Discover You Purpose Training Institute. Be sure to stay tuned and get your spot this Wednesday. The first people to sign up will receive a prize.